Hey guys, welcome to Protocode as Point. Okay, so in this Flutter tutorial, we're gonna learn how to implement reCAPTCHA verification in your Flutter app. So let's begin. So here I have just created a simple demo app just as an intro of this tutorial. So you can see there is a reCAPTCHA view for a verification process that I am not a robot. So when I press on this checkbox, so it will verify if I am a robot or not. And as soon as the uh, verification is successful, we are, we are redirected to our uh, welcome page of our Flutter app. So let's learn how to implement it. Okay, so first of all, we must uh, create a API key for reCAPTCHA verification. So let's go to uh, Google reCAPTCHA. So the link will be in the description. You can just check the link in the description about this. And here, let's create a project. So let's name it as uh, try. Okay, so I will just select this one, reCAPTCHA version 2 and I will just uh, keep it as I am not a robot checkbox. Okay, so here you need to specify your domain name. So I am making use of this. You need to make use of your uh, own domain name. So this will not work if you are using this one. Okay, so let me add this domain. Okay, so just accept the condition, terms and condition and create it. Okay, so the setup is completed. So these are the key of your API that we need to use in our app. So let's begin with the tutorial. So let's go to our Android Studio. Okay, so now we are in our Android Studio and I have created a Flutter project over here and removed all the default code given by Flutter team that is a counter code and for now it simply have a scaffold widget with the empty container in it. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to create a HTML page inside which we are going to implement reCAPTCHA verification process and the HTML page we are going to uh, display in our Flutter app UI. Okay, so I have already created a Flutter tutorial on how to load a HTML page in Flutter app. So if you have not watched that video tutorial, you can just check the link in the description or you can check the i button over here. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, uh, to load a HTML page, we need a library. So let's add the library. So just go to pubspecification.yaml file and under dependency section over here, just add so this is the library we need so just add this library and hit this pub get button okay so after adding this library just go to main.dart page and over here you need to import it okay so let's use this widget so here in body tag let's load a web page so web view plus and over here first of all you need to uh, enable our your javascript so enable javascript mode javascript mode unrestrict okay and now on view created controller and inside this controller let's uh, load our web page so to load our web page we will make use of a property that is load url okay so here i will just pass my uh, website address that is protocoldspoint.com okay so let me re uh, restart our app and check if this website is loading or no Okay, so the website is loading so perfectly in our Flutter app. Okay, so to load your uh, website, you need to add some permission in your Android module. So just go to Android module app, Android manifest, and over here you need to add this internet permissions, access network state, and in application tag, you need to make the traffic clear to true. Okay, so just do this and your website will be able to load as it is loading over here okay uh, so now uh, let me show you how to load our local or your assets folder html page so for that first of all let me create a directory over here and directory let's name it as assets and under assets folder i will just create one more directory that is web page okay web pages and inside this web pages directory i will just create a file and name it as index.html okay and inside this html index.html i will just copy a dummy uh, html tag that is just one h1 tag and i will just load this page and show you so we have just created three uh, two folders over here nfl so for that we need to give a permission to access this folder in your pub specification.yaml file and over here uh, just we will just give the access to this uh, folders okay so assets so the path is assets dot web pages okay so now your Flutter app will be able to access this folder so let's go to main dot dart 
and instead of this URL, we will pass our folder path. So the path is here assets web pages slash index dot html. Okay, so let me restart our app. So let's check if it is working. So app got restarted but I'm getting an error that there is no assets folder. Okay, so let me check what happened. Okay, so after adding this path, I forgot to hit this pub get button. So I'll just do it. Okay, so see, after hitting this pub get button and giving the access to this file, we are going to, we are able to load this index.html page in our Flutter app, as you can see over here. Okay, so instead of this simple HTML page, I need to uh, load a recaptcha widget over here we have recaptcha view in this form okay so here i have already created a html page for you so it has a script to load the recaptcha api and we have passed the, our key over here that we have generated so this is the key we have just passed it over here and we are going to load the script in our html page so this index.page we are going to load our recaptcha widget or our web view okay uh, so let's load this and check it out okay i have just restarted our app so let's check our app again so you can see a recaptcha is being shown in our forgotter app so i can just verify the recaptcha over here okay so now let's go to main.dat page and over here we have a web view plus where we are going to load this html page and we need to get the response of this web page okay so let's get the web uh, response if the verification was successful or not successful okay so for that over here javascript channel set dot form and over here let's create an array and inside this we will just make use of javascript channel again and inside this channel we will pass the name of this channel here inside this on message received we are going to perform our action okay so the action will be uh, javascript message message and inside this we are going to load our second page okay uh, so let's do it so navigation dot push replacement and we are going to uh, load our second page that is home page dot dot okay so let's create one more page over here that is our welcome page after uh, crypto verification captcha verification so let's create home page dot dot okay so we are just loading our home page as soon as our crypto verification is successful okay so let's import this let me restart our app and let's check so app got restarted so let me verify and as you can see as soon as we have verified we have been redirected to our welcome page okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to implement recaptcha verification in Flutter. so you can just get the source code in the link in the description or you can just watch the video and do it side by side uh, which will be a very best idea for best practice so thanks for watching, please do subscribe protocol as point. Thank you.